Okay, so first of all, we're going to do this using a helper column. And the first formula that I will use is equals count blank. And then select all of these cells and enter. And then double click and send it down. And what this formula is doing is counting all of the blanks in each of the rows. So here I get a zero as there are no blank cells in this row. And then here I get the number one as there is one blank cell in this row. And then here I get the number two as there are two blank cells in this row. And then I can use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift and L to add in the filter buttons at the top of the table. And then I can filter for just the rows that have a zero and OK. And in this way, I can filter out all of the rows that have a blank cell in any of the columns. Then the next method involves going to Home and then Find and Select and then selecting go to special and then select the blanks and OK. And this will select all of the blank cells in the table. And you can then right click on one of these cells and select delete and then delete the entire row and OK. And that deletes all of the rows that have blanks. Make sure to make a copy of your data before you do this. Then you can also select all of the blank cells and then hold down shift and the spacebar, which is the keyboard shortcut for selecting the whole row and then right click and hide. And this will hide all of the rows that have blank values. It's not quite the same as filtering, but it can still be useful then it might be the case that your missing data isn't actually represented by blank cells. Your missing data might be represented by error messages or some kind of text string. NAN for not a number is pretty common. In this case, I am going to use the count formula and I will select all of these cells here and then enter and then double click to send it down. And the count formula will ignore all of the blank cells and the error messages and the text values. So it basically counts just the numbers. And you'll see in a few cases here, I get the number seven. And that is because I have seven columns in my data. And so if there are no missing values, it just counts seven numbers. And then I have a bunch of sixes here and a five for the rows that have missing data. So I can now filter this to show me just the rows that have the number seven and OK. And then I can also add a test to this if I want. So I can test to see whether the count is equal to seven or not. And if it is not equal to seven, I will get a false. And if it is equal to seven, I will get a true. And I can then filter the table to show me just the true values and OK. And then finally, it might be the case that your missing data is just represented by a really weird number. In this example, I have 9,999. So in this case, I'm going to use the count if formula and I'm going to select all of these cells here and then I am going to count them only if they meet a certain criteria. And that criteria is that they have to be 9,999 and then close brackets and enter. And so if that number is not present in the row, I will get a zero. And if it is, I will get a number which is higher than that. And I can then filter to show me just the rows that have a zero and OK. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to filter out all of the rows that have missing values in any of the columns. And that is everything. Thank you.